Hey up everybody. I'm going to move on to the next part of my micro stroke mini lathe that I'm building. Uh, on the last part I think I left you where I, where I was making these gears for the apron for the traverse on the carriage. Uh, I explained briefly in that part I think you know how, how I was going to go about it. Uh, but I didn't get to the point where I was going to attach it to the apron, attach the gears that is, to the apron. So that's what I'm going to do on this part then. So I'll move over to workbench and we'll have a closer look at this. Right, I've had a little bit of a think about this and I think the best way I'm going to, uh, the best way of me to go about this is to do this and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this uh, modified standard gear that's got a helical cut tooth on. I'm going to use that for the lead screw for the meshing of the lead screw and I explained in last part you know why I were doing that with this modified gear. Uh, then I've got this standard gear along with this larger standard gear that's going to give me a two to one reduction. So this will be on my handle for the carriage and then this will mesh behind this apron here with this one to give me the reverse direction that I need for my carriage to travel the correct way from meshing underneath my lead screw. So this will be on the inside but just imagine I'm showing you on the inside now so, so it will probably sit something like that on the inside. And then on the back of this will be attached, uh, sorry, this one, the helical cut gear for my lead screw. Uh, and how, how I'm going to attach them, I think, um, I'm going to make, instead of having fixed centres, so I could do that, I could make accurately positioned fixed centres to get me. Uh, centers between these two gears and also to get my center height for underneath the lead screw so I could do I could do it that way but because this is a non-standard gear running in a lead screw I think this will get time to bed in a little bit so I don't want to use fixed centers I need a little bit of adjustment I think just in case I need to you know after it's had a bit of use it gets bedded in and I've got to adjust it if I use fixed centers I can't adjust it very well so what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to make a, a boss on this side here so I'm going to come through the apron with a boss which will attach the handle for the carriage and on the on the back of the boss I'm going to fix that spur gear like that and then I'm going to make a banjo so this boss will form part of the banjo that comes through the apron and then on the banjo uh, if anybody's not quite sure what a banjo is I'll explain that in a minute over on my Myford and I'm sorry for anybody that don't realize what I'm talking about when I'm on about a banjo so this is my Myford lathe and this arm here is the banjo. Uh, it pivots on the lead screw here and it pivots up and down like that and then these gears can be different size gears that operate in a slot in this arm. You can't see it because of the gears so you can put different size gears on and mesh different centres to each other. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a banjo. So. I'm going to then silver solder a piece of this brass bar, probably an inch long, put a slot in it, right, so that will form my banjo. So this will be the pivot point for my banjo with a locking nut on and that will give me uh, adjust adjustment on the uh, rotation part, like that. Then I can lock it off and then in the slot I'll have adjustment then for the meshing of these two gears horizontally like that 
Uh, I think that's... I, I have done this little bit of a drawer in here. I don't know if it'll be much use to you because um, I've not drawn it up that well to be honest. But that's going to be my gear, my fixed gear of my carriage, coming through on this boss. And that boss forms the banjo. So that's looking down the apron here. And then looking front on at the apron behind it, the banjo part of the bo of this boss, I'll have this slot in for adjustment of the gear that way. So I've got rotational adjustment that way into my lead screw. And I've got horizontal adjustment that way to mesh these two uh, intermediate gears together. It'll all become uh, more apparent when you know when I when I've started making things up, I suppose, and uh, fixing them on. So uh, watch this space, then, and we'll crack on with this. Right, I've just been working this position out with this banjo uh, boss is going to come through on the apron. Uh, it's, it's nothing technical this, I've just packed it up so that the gears are in the gears in mesh under the lead screw. I've angled the banjo up to get me the, my maximum height up to the top of the apron uh, and I've determined that it's approximately inch and one half to the centre so I've I don't know if you can see that I've, I've marked it off inch and a half up and I've come in uh, what have I come in three eighths and I'm going to drill a hole there half inch diameter for this uh, banjo to pivot on so that gear is going to be fastened to that shaft that's going to run in there and then the handle and the thread dial indicator for threading will be marked on a on a on a um, on a dial on that arm on that shaft sorry right so I'll get this drilled and then we'll uh, we'll reconvene
Come on then, let's have a look at this. I think I've got everything made now, ready for a test run. But before I do all that, let me just explain what I've done here. I've, off camera, I've pegged these two gears together. All I've used is a 6BA screw, just one screw. I think that's that'll be adequate. Uh, this then runs t on this um, shaft that fits into the banjo. That'll be bolted onto there in a minute. Same again with this uh, other gear. I've pegged it with a 6BA screw to the spindle where the winding handle fits on the apron. Right, my first job then is to fasten this uh, stub, I'm calling it a stub axle. Uh, I'm going to fasten that to the gears, then that's going to run in this banjo and be able to be adjusted. I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite on this as well. Just going to put a little bit of oil on this. Right, this spindle now is going to fit into this banjo. Uh, I'm not going to be locked tight in this screw on because this is this can be adjusted. So that's going to give me uh, scope. If I get anywhere in the gears or when it beds in, I can uh, I can adjust that. Right, this spindle now is going to fit in here. Then I'm going to nip that up. Once I've got the correct mesh. This is going to fit in apron now. And I've made this locking nut. But to swing this up, once I get it onto the lead screw, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tighten the banjo up till I've got the end bracket on. That's it. Right, I'll just fit this end bracket. I'm just going to swing that up now so it's meshing right, I think we're ready for a trial run now right I'm just fastening this uh, tap wrench to my spindle because I've not made no handles yet for it Now like I said, I don't know if it were the beginning of this video or the last video, because I'm using the lead screw, when the lead screw's not turning, i.e. when you're not using it for screw cutting, you'll just use the handle like you would a normal carriage on a lathe, if it was in the rack. But when you're screw cutting and you've got to have the gears engaged to turn the lead screw, this will turn. So as long as I only put a small handle on, you know, so you can't get your fingers trapped, it'll be fine. And that'll only occur when you're using the lead screw to screw cut. 
I'll show you. So although it's turning, I can still you I can still move the carriage. So that's going to be the only difference from a normal lathe carriage. And when I'm not using lead screw, it'll just you know it'll just be like normal. I think that's worked really good. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that how it's turned out. It works. Uh, it works a treat. Um, I don't know what I'm going to move on to next then, I'll probably, I've got to make a, a thread, a threading dial for engaging the uh, half nut, I've got to make a handle uh, and still there's, there's still other jobs to do so uh, I'll continue with this in the next video then. So if you find that useful, informative, enjoyable, uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you on the next video then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.